Um, at this time is a special moment where I get to introduce our featured local hero. And um, today's local hero is Kathy Hansen. And the reason I know Kathy is um, we met first through a um, breast cancer support group when I was surviving. And Kathy was there, and it's a group called Yana. It's called You Are Not Alone. And that's exactly what it, the, the case of it was. Um, you go, breast cancer survivors and family members went, and, and we got to meet, and it was kind of a, a, a great group to, to be a part of. So um, when it came time for me to participate in picking your hero this year, I had no hesitation to pick Kathy. So further ado, Kathy Hansen, please. thank everybody for being here and I, I just think it's really appropriate that the ultimate drive event is taking place here at Bergstrom BMW on Victory Lane. <laughs> Notice that? After all, it's through partnerships like this one between BMW and the Susan G. Komen Foundation that we will someday realize a victory over breast cancer. The Komen Foundation is working to eradicate breast cancer as a life-threatening disease through support of innovative research and community-based screening and treatment programs in communities around the world. Events like this one raise awareness about breast cancer issues in our community while raising funds to continue the fight. And just like people today are taking a short journey in a BMW, my cancer experience has been like a journey too, but not nearly as fun as driving one of these beautiful vehicles. <laughs> my journey began about two months before my 48th birthday when a routine screening mammogram turned up something suspicious. A subsequent biopsy confirmed that I had invasive ductal carcinoma, breast cancer. I was stunned. Cancer was something that happened to other people, not to me. But now I was one of those other people. Over 25 years as a teacher has made me a firm believer that knowledge is power, and boy, did I need some power. Suddenly my life was out of control but information was a way for me to gain some semblance of control. With the assistance of my surgeon, Dr. Phil Vogt, and the staff at the Martha Siegman Cancer Center, my education began in earnest. I read books, pamphlets, and reputable websites. I asked lots of questions. My doctors have gotten very used to me coming in with my clipboard full of questions. And I became a full partner with my healthcare team in planning my treatment and making ongoing treatment decisions. Over the course of the next eight months, I had a lumpectomy, eight rounds of chemotherapy, another lumpectomy, a bilateral or double mastectomy, and ongoing hormone therapy. Not to mention all the blood tests, x-rays, mammograms, ultrasounds, CT scan, bone scan, breast MRIs, <laughs> all that good stuff. I was constantly trying to reconcile what we expected with what turned out to be reality. We expected one small tumor, but found one large tumor, along with several small ones. We expected no spread to the lymph nodes, but found instead that the cancer had spread into my lymph system. We expected that I would have a lumpectomy followed by radiation, but instead had the chemotherapy, the second lumpectomy, and then the mastectomies. In other words, we learned to expect the unexpected. I've had the very good fortune to receive excellent care right here in the Fox Valley, and I am very grateful to my aforementioned surgeon, Dr. Phil Vogt, my medical oncologist, Dr. Bill Gunther, radiation oncologist, Dr. Robert Belgum, the pathologists, radiologists, doctors in nuclear medicine, anesthesiologists, oncology nurses, technicians, all the staff people. They were the bright spots in some very dark days. They were my shining lights along the way. Now it may seem unusual, but shouldn't be. I'm also grateful to my health insurance company, <laughs> WEA Trust. They worked in partnership with my medical providers to make sure that I got the tests and the treatment that I needed, leaving me free to concentrate on getting better. The cancer is more than a physical journey. Healing has to occur emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. And sometimes that is as difficult or more difficult than the physical healing. I had wonderful help and support along the way. 
First of all, it was from my incredible husband, Kevin. Together we have faced all the pitfalls along this road, giving each other strength, comfort, counsel, and hope. My friends, family, coworkers, students, all were very supportive. And yet as much as these people cared about me, they didn't fully understand what I was experiencing. And so I also reached out to fellow breast cancer survivors through local and online support groups. I've attended retreats and workshops for breast cancer survivors at well, as well. The women in these programs have helped me to grow throughout my treatment and beyond, and they continue to inspire me every day. So, where am I now on this journey? Not where I started, that's for sure. First of all, I can't say that I'm cured, although at this time there is no evidence of disease in my body. Secondly, I can't say that I'm back to normal. One of the most difficult lessons I learned is that there is no going back. Having breast cancer has changed me inside and out, and the woman I am now is not the woman I was before. After all, I lost my hair, which grew back, and my breasts, which didn't. But I have learned so much about breast cancer and its treatment and about myself. In the 29 months since I was diagnosed with cancer, I have traveled a rough yet rewarding road. Unlike a trip in a BMW, I wouldn't wish the cancer journey on anyone. And yet I was and still am determined to make the best of it. And that means continuing to move forward, finding ways to give back, and do something positive with what I've learned. I always knew that I wanted to do volunteer work when I was no longer teaching, but I really didn't know what kind of work I wanted to do. And then whether I liked it or not, this cause found me. So I've ended my teaching career after 28 years of working in the Kakana Area School District with students who have special needs. And I've embarked on a new volunteer career as an advocate for cancer-related issues. My volunteer work at this time is a three-pronged approach. Um, the first relates to my background in education. I work with young people as a volunteer with the Breast Cancer Family Foundation, assisting with presentations to middle and high school students on cancer risk reduction. The second relates to women who have breast cancer. I meet with newly diagnosed patients as a volunteer in the American Cancer Society's Reach to Recovery program and I participate in several face-to-face -face and online support groups. The third is with advocacy. I'm involved with several organizations, such as the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network, the National Breast Cancer Coalition, and as an e-champion for the cure with the Coleman Foundation, trying to influence public policymakers at the federal, state, and local level to raise awareness about cancer-related issues, to increase public investment in quality breast health and breast cancer care, to push for funding for critical research, screening, and treatment programs, and to encourage enactment of legislation that will further this agenda. And I continue to explore other avenues for volunteer work related to breast cancer. In conclusion, I just want to say that I am very honored to be chosen as a local hero for the ultimate drive. And I want to thank the people here at the Bergstrom dealership, BMW, and the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. I am honored to stand here on behalf of all the heroes in Northeast Wisconsin. Breast cancer patients and survivors, as well as those who have passed away, caregivers, supporters, healthcare professionals, and caring members of the community. All of these people are heroes, and I am humbled and honored to be counted among them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. Thank you. Woo. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Kathy, um, throughout the country, there are many people whose efforts in eradicating breast cancer go largely unnoticed but who deserve recognition. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, <laughs> uh, the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation and BMW of North America, LLC, recognize Katherine Hansen as an honorary supporter of Breast Cancer Awareness 2005. Thank you. Okay.